If you're an FPV pilot, you're probably going to run into the issue of having one of your cells in your life was die. Thankfully, they can be recoverable sometimes, so here's how you can do that. To recover a dead cell in your LiPo battery, you're going to need a charger that can charge lead acid batteries, and you're going to need a LiPo battery tester that can read the voltages of the individual cells. The first thing to do when you're trying to figure out whether you can revive your LiPo or not is to put it on the tester. When I'm looking at the voltages of this battery on my LiPo checker, it says it's only a 3S battery. This means that the fourth and the fifth cells are so dead that they can't even be recognized. If your battery cells are so dead that your LiPo checker can't even detect them, or your battery charger can't even detect them, trying to revive them probably isn't going to work and could even result in a fire. With this battery in particular, I have physical damage on my cells. As you can see, my fifth cell is very, very, very puffy. You should never try to charge, fly, or revive a LiPo with physical damage. This is very dangerous and can result in a fire. My second battery, if I plug it in, it registers as a 4S, but when I go through it, the first cell says 0, 0.000 volts. This also is not going to be revivable. If I tried using the reviving method, the voltage from this first cell would jump up to five volts instantly, but it actually wouldn't gain any charge. This is a fairly new 4S battery, so I'm going to convert it into a 3S battery so I can still use it. Now on this last 4S battery, when I plug it into the battery checker, I can see that the first cell is at 2.58 volts. This is a revivable cell. The others are all at 3.87, 3.86, and 3.87. To revive this battery, I'm going to plug it into my charger with just the XT60. Once I've got it plugged in, I'm going to select the battery type PB, which stands for lead acid. Since it's a 4S battery, I'm going to put the cell count to 6S, and I'm going to plug my balance lead into my LiPo checker so I can keep an eye on the cells. I've got the tester hooked up to the battery, and I've selected lead acid as the charging type. I've set my cell count to 6S and my current to about 2 amps. I'll hit start. As you can see, my first cell is starting to jump up. Now, a 6S lead acid battery charges up to about 14.6 volts, and this is already at 14.5 volts. And as you can see, my charger already said it's done. So I'm going to have to change my charger to 7S and continue charging it. As you can see, my first cell is slowly reviving itself, thankfully. Once it gets up to about 3.3 to 3.5 volts, I can stop the lead acid charging and I can just balance it like a normal battery. It's important to keep an eye on all the cells of your battery when you're doing this to make sure that none of them are going above 4.2 since this can be very damaging to a LiPo cell and it can even result in a fire. Thankfully, all my other cells are only up at 3.9 though. As the first cell continues to charge though, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this to make sure it doesn't go too high. As we're waiting for that first cell to charge up, here's my partner in crime. Her name's Lulu, she's our rabbit, and she likes hanging out while we do all this drone stuff. If I take a peek at my cell voltages, I can see that my first cell is right at 3.7 volts, and all my other cells are right at 4 volts. I can stop the lead acid charging and plug the balance lead into the charger. Now all I have to do is select the right charging settings from a battery and hit start. The charger is successfully charging the battery now. It'll balance all your cells out, and that's how you can revive your dead LiPo cell.